Well, for this segment of WeatherWise, I wanted to go over earthquakes. I'll show you some of those different faults and how they happen. Let's take a look. First off, an earthquake is the violent shaking of the ground as a result from movements within the Earth's crust or volcanic action. While earthquakes can happen anywhere, they're mainly focused along plate boundaries and specifically around the rim of the Pacific Ocean. Actually, 81% of the world's earthquakes happen around the Pacific, and due to that active part of the Earth's crust, it's been dubbed the Ring of Fire. Now, there are three main types of faults that cause earthquakes, and the first we're going to go over is the dip-slip fault, where parts of the Earth's crust move vertically. If the moving block shifts down, it's called a normal fault, or if that block moves up, it's called a reverse fault. And the epicenter of these earthquakes occurs below the Earth's surface as these plates jolt when they move. Another fault is called a strike-slip. This is where two plates are slowly moving side by side at about the pace that your fingernails grow. At times, they can get stuck, and when they suddenly slip, it causes an earthquake. Now, earthquakes are measured by seismographs, and these waves are then converted into a number on the Richter scale. That can rank from 1 to 10, where each increase in number is 10 times the amplitude of the previous number. Earthquakes also arrive in clusters with smaller foreshocks leading up to the main event. The main event is the largest quake with the highest number on the Richter scale, and aftershocks will follow the main earthquake and can occur days, months, or even years after the main event. And if you would like to check out the most recent earthquakes around the globe, head to this website you see here or just search Earthquake Map in your favorite search engine.